Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elisabetta, a watercolor artist with a passion for art supplies. A couple of weeks ago, or maybe longer ago, I swatched this liquid charcoal by Schminke, which I find really nice. Are uh, three different uh, hues of uh, black. And uh, I love uh, charcoal but i hate the mess and the dust so this liquid charcoal i thought was ideal to have an effect like charcoal but without all the dust but i have just received these three liquid earth by schminke which complement perfectly the black charcoal and let's immediately see what they are you have uh, liquid amber, liquid chalk, and liquid sanguine, 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 I'll check it out. And I'm very excited because I love the combination of these colors and we will immediately swatch them and then absolutely try a portrait with this, uh, using these wonderful liquid chalks and uh, start immediately. Once again, I must uh, thank uh, Momarte for sending me this uh, wonderful trio of uh, liquid earths. So I'm really excited. Let's, let's start uh, having a look at the box. So before we swatch them, we can read the information on this uh, little box. This little box contains uh, three tubes of uh, five uh, milliliters each, which is the typical launch format of uh, Schminke. They do the same, uh, they adopt the same format for charcoal, for super granulating colors. When you find these tubes in sets, usually they are five milliliters, whereas when you buy them open stock, they usually come in uh, bigger tubes, uh, 15 milliliters. This little box mentions um, the fact that they are vegan and natural because these contain absolutely no oxgal, which is uh, very interesting for people that are um, sensitive to this uh, issue. And it mentions the pigment, which are PW18 for chalk, which is uh, chalk, PW18, and uh, sanguine is... Uh, PR102, natural red iron oxide, mixed with uh, Arabic gum, all of them. And this is, once again, PR8, which is manganese brown, a natural pigment. They say on the website that uh, there might be slight differences from one batch to the other because it's a natural product, which makes me even more curious. Okay. The chalk, I'm not trying it on white paper, but because later we will try a sketch, we will use the chalk for highlights. So we will see it. Let's just, uh, let's just swatch the liquid amber. So excited. And the sanguine. This is the manganese brown. brown and you really can see the earth in it I mean it does feel very very earthy it's warmer than a sepia but it's cooler I would say than a earth uh, amber and uh, let me see how dark uh, it can be I don't think you can get it very dark not much this is the darkest it gets i think and then we have uh, sanguine which is a color that i like very much i like for instance to make a monochrome portrait with a venetian red which looks slightly like this but uh, this one is definitely more orangey than a regular venetian red and uh, and this is this beautiful 
red that you get. It's really sanguine. What they say is that you can uh, use this as an underpainting, you can complement it with uh, dry media, you can uh, use forever, you can really use uh, in any way that you like, you name it, you can, and it's very flexible because you can uh, really combine it with uh, pastels or uh, pastel pencils uh, because uh, you can do larger areas with this, uh, with a brush, and then maybe refine the details with a carré or a pencil or charcoals. Okay, let's go to the sketch while we wait for this to dry. It's beautiful, 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 wonderful, very exciting. I think I would like to do is um, to use these tubes uh, together with the charcoal. Let's pick one, uh, for instance, the darkest one, which is uh, um, grape seed black, uh, for trying uh, what is called the technique au quatre crayon for pencils technique, uh, which uses black, white, brown, and uh, red. So you can use this technique with, um, for instance, uh, carré or charcoal pencils, a sepia pencil or a sanguine pencil. And um, it was really used by ancient masters like Paul Rubens. Not that I want to compare myself, but it's a very interesting technique especially on tone paper. And today we're using this Canson Cagrin uh, yellow ochre drawing paper. It's, uh, it's like a color, like a, we call it Havana in Italian. It's like craft paper. It's very nice. And uh, okay, I will start this uh, sketch and now I speed it up. This technique is um, particularly suitable for portraits because with these uh, four colors uh, you can uh, paint any complexion.
Voilà. It's a beautiful yellowish brown. I hope you can see the beauty of it because the sun is going down. But um, once dry, they are very, very luminous and glowing. I don't think you can erase them with a needed eraser. But I'll try. Slightly, yes, yes, you can uh, slightly erase them. And also, I think it, they, let's see if they're easy to reactivate. Yes, they do. They are quite easy to reactivate. So layering it can be tricky, but they're also very forgiving. And I noticed it um, in the sketch. Can you see? They reactivate quite easy, like uh, the uh, charcoal. I am absolutely delighted by these liquid earths. The colors are wonderful, and I don't think you can reach the same earthy feeling with um, regular watercolor. This one looks a bit like raw amber, and this one looks a bit like uh, Venetian red. Let's compare them immediately. Okay, this could be a Venetian red by my Mary. Mm, it's darker actually. And it's, it is not so earthy. It's more transparent and more liquid. This is more like in between gouache and watercolor. So this is the earthy liquid charcoal and this is the Venetian red by My Mary. Today I'm editing the video and I realized that uh, I haven't filmed uh, this swatch which is Van Dyke by My Mary, which I find similar but cooler. So now I'm swatching a raw amber. This is a raw amber by Cor, this one. Let's see the difference. Mm, it's much darker, actually. There are some raw ambers that are warmer. This is much more, much warmer. It's almost a brownish raw sienna. This is a raw amber, very different. In any case, uh, I can tell you that uh, they're not watercolors. They are liquid 
earth. The texture is different, both uh, as an experience, as a painting experience, and even when they're dry, they are slightly more, it's not chalky because they're not chalky, but uh, the feeling is that they have more presence, more physical texture compared to watercolor. The saturation is uh, incredibly high. I remind you that uh, this is, um, liquid sanguine and this is uh, Rwanda and uh, the the feeling that you have is uh, really liquid earth they become much lighter once dry so be careful and uh, it's a, a product that really left me a bit speechless because I think it's a real breakthrough in uh, painting uh, with uh, this uh, technique of uh, quatre crayon or maybe the technique so-called au trois crayon which is uh, black uh, white uh, and uh, one of these two either brown or sanguine i have used four which is called au quatre crayon and uh, it's really it's really a very very pleasant experience Now the sketch, the sketch is a uh, lot of fun. I, the only thing that um, I didn't really like was that I couldn't get a very dark black, but then uh, out of camera, I tried with, uh, I'm sorry, this um, peach stone, which is darker. This is the grapeseed black, which is more transparent. This is darker, the peach stone. So I could reach uh, some darker accent here and there on the eyes and here at the roots of the hair. So it's nicer, there is more contrast. And also you can mix it with the brown to reach a darker brown here where you have shallow. Just uh, be careful because these liquid earths have a quite a huge dry shift once dry and also they're easy to reactivate just like wash. So you need to be very delicate while layering but you need to layer if you want to reach different values. Overall, you know, these uh, sketches that I do when I swatch my colors are um, absolutely just um, quick sketches, advanced swatching that I do just to check the behavior on paper and see how this uh, paint uh, behaves, not just in swatches, but in a real painting environment. As usual, if you have liked the video, comment like, subscribe, but above all, please comment. Let me know if you are curious about this product, if you know any similar product. I know that there are some um, tailored chalks by Viarco Artgraf with more or less the same colors. And I would really know to, um, I would really like you to tell me if uh, you haven't tried them because I'm very also curious about them. These are absolutely amazing. These sketch and tone paper just fill me with joy. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao from Elisabetta. Ciao.